Shrimp. 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 Stop chewing on power cords, man. Come on. Shrimp. No. No! Not the silverware. Shrimp. Shrimp. Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. I want to do a dog to cat. Which famous last words. Shrimp. No. No. Dude. Shrimp. Get out of the bush. He has always had a desire for plants. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Give this to me. Try it. Just try me. Never ending battle of trying to keep plants in my apartment. I shrimp. I just got this one. Ram. Don't eat that. Also, do you know how any of this happened? These plants aren't even connected anymore. Murderer! I started to see everything that I loved <laughs> face mortal peril because he was just fascinated by it. You were constantly looking to get a rise out of me. Oh my God! Shrimp's behavior was sort of getting more intense and I was just like, I think that he's bored. I have a really good friend. She was the one who was like, you should get another cat. It will help calm him down. It'll give him other stimulants. And I completely agree with that sentiment. But being that I lived in a studio apartment, I was like, if this second cat turns out to be anything like shrimp, I will not make it. This just will not end well for me or any of my things. It will just turn into a dumpster fire. So I was like putting it off. The final straw came when I had been putting on bird videos on my television when I would leave for work. Came home, television shattered. So I reached out to another friend of mine. I get a text from her with a photo of Coconut just being like, he's ready tomorrow. And I was like, uh, I was just thinking if I wanted to get a cat. But he had this just little round pot belly and he was all fluffy. And I was like, I need this cat. Take the kitten home. I think I spent two weeks keeping them separate, which was one of the most stressful points of my life. It was like trying again to hold back Shrimp's greatest desire from him or something. I wanted everything to do with that kitten. And then slowly but surely brought them together. Shrimp, we do not eat the baby, okay? No eating the baby. Stop antagonizing him. Instantaneously, they matched. And Shrimp's crazy levels came, I mean, it's a huge scale, but they came down at least half. You guys love each other. So sweet. Oh my god, oh my god, no, 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 no. For the longest time, especially I think because Coconut was so little and such a kitten compared to Shrimp, he couldn't get up to the places the Shrimp was at. He couldn't do the same sort of things. So I just quickly cast him as like, not my favorite child, but just the straight A student, the one who like drinks water every day. Then you have this like Mountain Dew chugging monster child in the corner who's like playing Fortnite and refuses to listen to you. And Shrimp would be doing something mischievous and Coconut would just be sitting, watching, taking notes. When Coconut was around six months or so, he started it up. Why are you in the bathtub? Get out! I felt like I had just been sucker punched in the heart. Oh my God, stop playing with scissors. Coconut just leapt, grabbed it, and dragged it off the wall. So, excuse me. Meanwhile, Shrimp is just the calmest, sweetest little man. Coconut! Stop it! These are not for you! What? has happened to the sweet child that I left.
I had a hanging plant. They used their little cat tree house, which I am now going to break apart into firewood to jump into the air, grab the hanging basket, and <laughs> rip it to the ground. It's hard not to assume that this was a personal attack. And don't think you're exempt from this either, mister. I will say though that Coconut has also picked up on some of the best characteristics of Shrimp too. Well, they've just kind of taught each other to be like love bugs and super cuddly. When I got Shrimp, I was super depressed and he just brought this light into my life. Or a raging fire, rather. Cats have such a range where it's like you can have sweet, docile little coconut or you can have like this raptor troll shrimp. <laughs> They have honestly given me a reason for waking up. They've increased my life tenfold. I just, I love them so much. I hope that everyone has the opportunity of summoning a fur demon from another realm. <laughs> uh, you guys love each other. So sweet, such sweet children.